Christian Rivera stands charged for the murder of 20-year-old Iowa University student Molly Tibbetts. Rivera's attorney sat down for an interview with Fox's Martha McCallum tonight, where he didn't seem to care that his client is an illegal immigrant. The United States Constitution provides if you're not a citizen, you still are entitled to the jurisdictions of the courts and entitled to equal protection under the law. I don't think anyone so said he wasn't. What, everyone, of, what people are saying is that he arrived here illegally from Mexico four to seven years ago. That's your rhetoric on it. It's not rhetoric. You know, I'm that's part what of an the, agrarian that, that's society. That's what the immigration it, officials are, are saying their reports indicate. He used a false name to work for an employer. They thought he was somebody else. We know that as well. These are just the, these are the facts that are being dug up in the case. Martha's exactly right. Joining me now with reactions are Tom Homan, a Fox News contributor and the former acting director of ICE, and immigration attorney Alan Orr. Alan, is it, a, is it a legitimate question or subject for us to discuss if somebody's here legally or illegally? I think it is if we're dealing with a matter of immigration, if we're in immigration court or an immigration proceeding. But I think what the family has said in this situation and also what the law sort of bears out in the way this case is being handled, that the fact that this person is undocumented is not an essential part of this actual criminal activity. So therefore, but, whether but, he was, but a, Alan, don't don't you believe if if he was unable to get here, if he had come legally and lawfully, he may not have ever come here. The fact that he was here, and is illegal, he the Molly would be alive if he weren't in this country. Do you believe that or not believe that? I. First of all, this is an absolute tragedy, and I offer my condolences to the family. Yeah. And the possibility of changing what actually happened, no one can do those circumstances. So I'm not going to play that game, what if. It's not a game. But I think it's in not a game. You, see, you, when people are here illegally and they commit a crime, I really do believe that that crime wouldn't have been committed because they wouldn't have been here. Is that, that, is that I'm a logical? Philosophy, I'm a philosophy major. No, it's not a logical it's answer. It's not a philosophy. It's logic. It's not a logical answer. No, there are, there are endless possibilities of things that could have happened. So, no, that is not a logical yeah. answer to say and that she if would this have person wasn't here. And he would have been in Mexico, right? We're saying in this specific yes, occurrence. Yes, in this specific case where a young woman going to college, about to enter her junior year, is murdered. You're telling me that's not relevant? I'm, I'm, I'm uncertain if you're asking me if the immigration status is relevant. It is not yes, relevant. Yes, it what is, is relevant, because he wouldn't have been in this country. Is, what is relevant is the individual and those individual actions, which have been discussed clearly His in the criminal case. His actions of coming here illegally ultimately led to her being killed by this person. That's the allegation. We'll see if it's true, but that's the allegation. Tom, well, that's a, that's Tom, a fallacy you've, you've of dedicated causation. That's a fallacy of causation because he was here for four years with no problem. He worked at you don't a know farm that. You don't, for We don't years. know that yet. We don't know that yet. Hold, hold I mean, on. I, I want to bring in Tom. Tom spent a lifetime in law enforcement protecting us and getting rid of some of the most nefarious criminals that are out there. Tom, what's your take on this? Uh, I think my friend Alan's way wrong on this, and, and you're right. Look, fact, he was in the country illegally. Fact, if he wasn't here, this girl would be alive today. That's just a fact of the case. It's not a philosophy. It's a fact. This, this girl is dead today because he killed her and he was here illegally. If he wouldn't have been here, if we had a border wall, if we had real uh, border enforcement, maybe he wouldn't have been here. So uh, it's stone cold fact. Let, let me play a little clip here of a candidate for the United States Senate, the person who's running against uh, Ted Cruz. Oh, sorry, it's not, okay, we don't have this clip. But you have a lot of people that are saying, hey, uh, we should decriminalize this. You, you know, essentially open borders, we want to abolish ICE. Alan, where do you stand on those two issues? Right. So first, the abolish ICE movement and as well as the decriminalization of immigration are totally separate issues. And I want to be very yeah, clear. Yeah, they're separate, but go early, ahead. Very cl clear earlier saying that his immigration status had nothing to do with the crime that, and what happened in that occurrence. So the, the, what is not important or what I'm is super important arguing, in the story. I'm going to keep arguing. Alan, I'm not going to let you get away with that. I'm going to keep arguing. Because if and, he and didn't come here illegally, then he wouldn't have committed this crime. And you think that's a philosophy? I think that's just the fact. You know, I'm saying it's a fallacy of causation. You're sort of saying because he was illegal, he committed the crime, which is not the case. If this somebody, is an wait, Alan, occurrence. Alan, if yes. somebody breaks into your home and then murders you, what do you think would happen if he didn't break into your home? Right. So these kind of arguments, these equivocation, these straw man arguments aren't useful to the conversation. It's not a straw man. We have a dead woman. 
and it is a tragedy for the family, and they've asked that, that, that her death not be political issues based on this, because they It's the number one issue facing voters, according to poll. Tom, that it, jump in individual, here. An individual's actions does not represent the whole community of immigrants in this country. So, therefore, I, that, I didn't, I didn't that's say really that, the but problem. You're, no, uh, look, I'm not going to let you get away with that either. There's a difference between immigrants and illegal immigrants. Tom, explain the difference. Look. Immigrants are people here, uh, here illegally. Ill illegal alien, which is the term uh, in the law books, illegal aliens are here illegally. Look, bottom line is that the, the comment that Alan just made that this family didn't want this politicized. Look, illegal immigration has been a political issue for decades. It's, it's emotional. But look, fact, about, about two hours ago, I got, I got a text, uh, uh, actually email from Don Rosenberg, an angel dad from California, who talked about this case and talked about L.A. Uh, editorial where they talked about politicizing these deaths. And Don Roseburg reminded me, he goes, Tom, every one of us, us, us Angel families, we want the president to speak about this. We've been speaking about this for a long time, but we never had a voice until President Trump got to be president. He, he created the voice office, Victims of Immigration Crime at ICE. So, so here's an angel dad reached out to me today, which is a coincidence. We're having this interview tonight saying we want a voice. We want the American people to understand the so, tragedy. We, we, have, we, we have children that have been killed by illegal aliens. We need to talk about it. So, well, Alan, let me, let me ask it, you, let me, we should I talk about show you some video. That people, Alan, yeah, Alan, okay. Alan, I got to show you some video. Okay. There are those of us that believe in the wall and believe we should lock down the border. And down in, in, uh, on the southern border, there's this video, which hopefully will come up on the screen as we're speaking, of what was going on at a KFC. There was a tunnel that was going into this KFC, which was providing this conduit. This is the KFC. This kind of reminds me of Breaking Bad and how they were moving drugs through. This is the tunnel that's moving through. So do you advocate for open borders, or do you think that we need more resources, more funds, and more, more resources to lock down that border, particularly on our southern border? Alan? I don't, I don't think anyone is sort of arguing for open borders. And, and the point that you're bringing about surprised. right now, I'm glad that we're talking about the stories because that's exactly the issue, that ICE really should be focused on these type of issues rather than separating families and children at the border, no, that's, that's, rather no, than Alan, showing I don't think you know what ICE does. They should be because focused on trying to look for these one, major crimes. Border Patrol separated families, not ICE. And I support the Border Patrol doing that because if it would have stayed with that, the, the numbers were already down by 20 percent just the several weeks they did it. It should, it should have stuck with it for another 30 days and this problem would have been solved. But the, the, decriminalizing illegal immigration is going to result in more illegal immigrants coming to this country. That's just a gentlemen, fact. And gentlemen, you thank you. That. And the reality is, if you put up a wall, you're not going to separate families because they're not going to get in this country in the first place. Well, more. Thank you. And I appreciate you gentlemen being here. I really do appreciate it.